Welcome into the In the Money podcast, the first one for 2015. I'm Tom Leach, along with Keeneland's director of simulcasting, Jim Goodman, and we have three graded stakes races to check out. And Jim, let's start at Aqueduct with Grade Three Jerome. It is their eighth race on the Saturday card. One of our first Derby preps, first one up in New York. It's at a mile and seventy yards for three-year-olds. You've got the Kentucky Jockey Club winner El Kabir going to be a heavy favorite in here. Can you beat him? Well, I don't know. Brand, brand new three-year-olds are tough to handicap. They turned three on January first, and they're, this is their first race as three-year-olds. Uh, I liked a couple of the horses in here. I think uh, El Kabir is going to be favored, maybe even even money or six to five. But uh, I went with Ostrolinka, the four horse for Todd Pletcher. Uh, I can't believe that he was that bad in the Remsen. And I'm thinking when you watch the replay, they just didn't persevere with him. Uh, he was hung outside in the 11 hole, and he was five wide going the first turn, and then just kind of gave it up. And so if you if you just draw a line through that, the last two races, the uh, maiden special weight and the one mile Sleepy Hollow at Belmont, he was very impressive. He went off at four to one in the rim soon. So I'm gonna give him another chance here. I'm gonna take El Kabir second, the nine horse. He'll be favored off that Kentucky Jockey Club at Churchill. The only bad race that he's run was the Champagne, and that was a muddy track. Uh, I think the weather is cold enough in New York; it's not gonna be muddy on Saturday. And uh, the other horse, the third choice in here was Acaret, uh for Rudy Rodriguez, simply because you can't ever toss him. And uh, the horse may have liked the wet, fast track at Parks last time out, but if that's not it, he's just getting a lot better with an 86 buyer and uh, and ran off and won for fun. So I'm going to take Osterlink on top with El Kabir and then uh, Akarat underneath the seven horse. Well, I'm kind of taking the same approach with a different horse. I'm going to take Royal Berg. <laughs> um I thought he was real impressive in the race he won here at Keeneland. First time out going a mile and 16th, and he won. He was wide. And uh, Franco's been red hot up there as a rider, and he takes the mount on this one. And this horse also was in the Remsen and had trouble. So um, I think if either one of us are right, we'll get a decent price on a Pletcher horse, which isn't always an easy thing to do. Um, El Kabir, Akaret, and um, Mini Cosmo, the one horse for uh, Grand Motion, are the other ones I would use. So... Uh, you might, you might, you could take both of ours and play the two Pletcher horses and, uh, put them in a, maybe an exacta box with El Kabir and Akaret and uh, a four horse box might not be the worst way to go, but, uh, I'm going to take Royal Berg in the Jerome Gulfstream. They have two graded stakes races. Uh, one of them's early, the fourth race, the grade three old hat. This is for three-year-old fillies only going six furlongs. And I went to another Pletcher horse here in fashion alert. He's winning a 35% clip at this meet. And this horse has had a steady string of works, six weeks in a row with a work, and should just be sitting on ready. And you just so often see these horses uh, that are, you know, decent, solid, if not spectacular, two-year-olds, and, and they can just make a big move forward when they turn three for Pletcher and he gets them down to Florida in that nice warm weather. So I'm going to take fashion alert here. User with temperament, Patty, the six, the five, concealed with a kiss, and the seven, Ikati's, uh Fathion, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but the five, six, and seven, keying around the one fashion alert. How about you? I'm going to take the one as well. Uh, she ran the Alcibiades and led to the stretch. And she hasn't run since then, so had a nice little winter off, and uh, I think she'll come back ready to run. Uh, the, the race might be a little short for her. She won at six furlongs, Skylerville at uh, Saratoga, but she looks like she towers over these in class. The horse that I, that I like, I like Conceal with a Kiss, the five as well. But the horse that I like for second is Little Miss Julia. Uh, she took a big jump forward in her second start and won for fun. She's only got two starts, lots of upside. Castellano takes takes them out. Uh, don't know much about uh, Carlo Vaccareza, but uh, she comes off a maiden special weight win that, that she won for fun at 7-1. to one. So if she's getting better, she's got a shot. Conceal with a kiss is Ed Plessa and uh, has had three straight really good works, uh, really good uh, outings on dirt. You can toss the turf race. So I'm going to take um, Fashion Alert, maybe get a little price with uh, the second horse, Little Miss Julie, the four, and conceal with a kiss, the five. And let's go to the seventh race, the grade three, Danya Beach. It's for three-year-olds on the turf. They go seven and a half, which is a two-turn race on the Gulfstream turf course. And um, you've got a bunch of kitten horses in here. Did you pick one of those? <laughs> well, I, I, I wrote down that Ramsey has three runners, and he could run one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're all good. You know, you can make a case for all of them. And uh, – out of the three, I, I guess I like crown the kitten a little bit because Rosario took it, but the other jocks stuck with the horses they had rid, ridden before. Uh, Prado sticks with Smoke'em Kitten, and um, Hernandez rides for Wesley Ward, and he's winning the 
67% get the full award. So all three of them have a shot. But I'm a contrarian, so I'm going to pick against them. I'm going to pick uh, Cronin the Barbarian. And um, it's uh, the horse just barely lost the pulpit last out at Gulfstream Park West, formerly Calder at a mile. It got beat by nose. And uh, maybe a little sentimental shot here. I, I really like Mick Cronin, uh, uh, the, the coach at Cincinnati, has had a few health problems. And this horse was named after him. It's owned by Rick Patino, and Rick names his horses after his coaches or players or whatever. So Cronin the Barbarian is uh, a little bit of a sentimental choice for me, but I think he's got a real shot in here. And the other horse besides the Ramsey horses, Night Prowler, the uh, nine, finished just behind Cronin last out. So Cronin the Bar- Barbarian on top of any which Ramsey horse you like. I'm going to go with Chad Brown, uh, Night Prowler. Um, this horse really improved in his first try around two turns. And now gets uh, and and had a bad trip, uh, so may have even been better than than it looks on paper. And now he switches to Castellano, which is a big move always. Don't not wild about the nine hole going seven and a half, which is why I'm a little leery of Crown the Kitten. But I'm going to take the nine Night Prowler, use him with Crown the Kitten, with the six Smoke em Kitten, and with the four a lot. But I think this is a good betting race. Um, but I'm going to take a shot with Night Prowler. Uh, for Chad Brown in the Donya Beach. So that's uh, those are our picks for the first Saturday card of the new year, and we wish you best of luck. Uh, anything special coming up at the Keeneland Simulcasting? Just uh, we're hoping to get our TVs finished. We've been uh, a little bit out of pocket with uh, some projects going on the second and third floor, the uh, Mez Bar and the Sports Bar, getting all new flat screens. So we're going to be, when we get finished, we're not going to have any old TVs in the entire property. So Got all the new flat screens coming in. Hopefully they'll be done by next week in the main area. So uh, we have a Friday night handicapping contest uh, this Friday, the 2nd, the first of five straight in January, featuring Turfway Park, uh, Santa Anita, Golden Gate, any races between 6 and 9.30. Last year we averaged over 100 people on those Friday night contests. It costs 35 bucks to get a free meal and a program, and first place is usually around 1100 1200 bucks. So. Oh. That's in the equestrian room on Friday nights, uh, every Friday night in January, then the 6th and 13th of February, and the 6th and 13th of March. So we're going to have nine tournaments between now and opening day. Uh, you can qualify for the tournament champions, and uh, it's a lot of fun on Friday nights. Uh, good food and, and uh, pretty good racing to handicap. All right, good stuff. Uh, Jim, we appreciate the, um, the time. Best of luck to you and to all our horse players. For KeenanSelect.com, this is the In the Money Podcast.